Welcome back guys to Rider 19.1. Today we'll dive into a little how-to video. I've been riding the Benelli TRK702X for about a year now and I'm really really happy with it. But a couple of months ago we decided to change the handlebar to wider straighter handlebars. Why? Given the weight of this bike I thought I could do with a bit more leverage and stability which it did give me, but given the size of my hand... Guys, that's the difference in the size of our hands. I just didn't find the wrist position very comfortable. So we decided to change back the handlebar to its original today. We're going to take you along for the ride, so let's get started. Okay guys, let's start by taking a dirty towel something that you don't use in the house uh, and covering the tank because in case you drop something on the tank you don't scratch the nice paint let's first start by removing the mirrors here and we're gonna need some spanners to open these now the best spanner to use is the one that fits I think it's a 17 yep and this is reverse thread so make sure that you do it the right way you know which one is the dirtiest tool in your kit the dirtiest tool in my kit mm, not really if he spoke german you'd know it's definitely the spanner <laughs> why spanner spanner means perv oh it does <laughs> Okay. Well, we're gonna take these hand guards off. So let's find the right bit for this. Uh, what's the size of this one? Whatever, this is the one that fits. All right, now that that's off, we're gonna have to take off this, 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 and this. Can you be a bit more precise with the words? <laughs> <laughs> Precision isn't uh, exactly my forte. <laughs> Let's just take the brake lever and reservoir off. Right. Just to be careful. Now let's see. Oh, see, that's exactly why you need the the towel in the place. towel here in place. Yeah, you get it. Okay. Now, what do we have here at the bottom? This is the same Allen key for all the bolts, so that makes it pretty easy. There's two of them. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Right. I forgot that I put the tape in there. So this is loose now. Okay. Good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here because when I open these bolts, I can just slide this off because the handlebar is going to move because these cables are not long enough to pull this off, pull the wires off, so that can stay like that for now. Let's get to this side and open this end here. And now the last one here. Okay, and then this just opens up quite easy and simply. And that's done. Now we just take the grip off. 
Okay. It's pretty easy. And now we can get to opening the main bolts here. So let's get the right Allen key. So let's take the number six Allen key and open this up. And we gotta be a little bit careful because the handlebar is probably gonna just drop out and do some naughty things. So let's just be careful when you open the bolts. There we go, now it's nice and loose. And now what I can do is, actually I'll just take, take, it, take it off completely. Now I can just slide that out. Easy peasy, handle out. Okay. Okay. Let's take these out. The risers. So before we put the handlebar back and put this part back in there, put this back in here. Slide that back in and now we're good to go. Let's put this back. Final adjustments will be made later for the exact height and stuff like that. Make sure that it's perfectly in line. You can see the TRK here. This has got to be perfectly in line and I think it is. So like I said, final adjustments later. Right now, let's just put, put it all back together. So make sure that the accelerator is just behind this bolt here. All right, that's important. Now we got a number five Allen key bolt. Okay, so we've got two different size bolts and the longer one is gonna go on the left side and the shorter one is gonna go on the right side. So let's put that in. All right, that's good. You can hand tighten these, but make sure that this doesn't move. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. All right, now we just have to bring the brake reservoir back. Make sure that it's in the right place. Good. Looks good there. Let's get the angle right. Straighten the bar out. Feels good. Okay, awesome. Just tighten that up. Don't tighten too much or you'll break the clamp. So make sure that it's not, you don't tighten it like a beast. Awesome. Starting to look like a bike again. <laughs> On to the next. Let's put the grip back. Oh, yeah. Spanner. <laughs> Spanner. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, that's good there. Now let's put this back in. 
There's a small little notch here and this notch over here. Okay. It's gonna go into a little hole over here. You know. So let's just feel where that where that hole is. Somewhere here, right? Yeah, you know, sometimes I have trouble putting it in. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So perfect. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now these these bolts here for this part, the switch gear, are the same size. So it doesn't matter which one goes in where. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> okay. Let's put the other lever on. Clutch lever. So I think we'll just put that a little bit lower. Nice. Make sure you have a good feel. Make sure that the levers are pretty much at the same level. In a position where it's comfortable for you. And generally speaking, I would sit on the bike to test that. So let's just sit on the bike. Very nice, very comfortable. Oh, go on, test. Don't feel, I mean, is, am I getting a little bit more grip with the fingers? I don't know, you, you tell me. You compare in post-production. I do feel that it's a bit more snug here. Not sure whether physically that's possible or in my just being. We can push it down a little. What? <laughs> the this part so that it just tips a little towards you, me. You want it to tip towards you a little bit? That yeah. can be done. Yeah, I think so. So let's continue the build. This is good. Let's make sure this is nice and tight. Because we were setting it up so. Sure, we can tighten those nicely. Okay, and like I said, I just hand tighten them. And perfect. Let's put the weights on now, the bar ends. Now we just gotta find the original bolts. I know there's somewhere. Oh, here they are. There we go. When you modify your bike and change things like the handlebar and such, make sure you keep your original bolts very safely. So if you ever want to revert like we do, you have your original bolts with you. And that's really important. Because if you lose these, then you're up shit creek without a paddle. <laughs> so when you're putting your bar risers back, make sure that you have your hand guards in place because it's a perfect fit and we won't leave this we won't tighten this completely right now I will loosen the levers so it's a good idea to take the mirror off when you're putting this bolt in because of the reverse threading It's a good idea to put this bolt on first and then put stick the other mirror on and now as you can see we will loosen the clutch lever so it's nice and loose like that so that we can now tighten this bolt and know how far she goes in. Perfect. We can adjust the grips in the final position a bit later. But I think this should do it. We can tighten this back up.
Nice. So that's done. Now we can put the mirror back. Again, reverse threading. And final adjustment of mirrors. Again, we will do in the seating position when Judy is sitting on the bike. And we will tighten this bolt up properly only after the final assembly has been done and then tighten everything up once more. So let's put the other mirror on now. I'm going to take this off. So guys, that's it. It's all been assembled, but it's not been set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Judy sit on the bike and according to her body posture, height and everything, we're going to just go over everything and make sure that everything is a perfect fit for her. All right, Judy, just uh, check your mirrors, make sure that uh, they're in the right position so that we can do the final tightening of all the bolts and give all the bolts a once over. That's perfect. That's good. All right. Did I mention I love the mirrors? Okay. <laughs> They're so good. I honestly, looking at this now, I forgot how much of an angle there was in the original handlebars. And just sitting with it, I think it's a more comfortable disposition. So no changes needed right now. And actually, I do feel that my fingers Wrap, about, uh, wrap around the levers a bit more. I didn't think that would change. So final touches. So final touches, we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna tighten the handlebar bolts to 20 to 23 Newton meters. I'm gonna give it 23 Newton meters. Okay, good. Let's go over the other bolts one, one more time. Tighten this. Sorted. Jawohl. Thank you. Now we go for a ride. Okay, we got this beautiful bike. 